Hey, Merrick, go shut down and get a gourmet. Let me turn up. Yeah, I'm still doing the show. Hey, need a haircut and all that, you know. I think I'm going to try to buzz it all off. Yeah, had a good day, though. Too hard to back to back where I was sober having shrimp. Um, a yellowfin or ahi tuna. See, it's nice and beautiful color there. I've got some diced, medium diced roasted red pepper, but notice I left a little. Here. Notice I left a little black on. We've got some red onions here. And the last thing I'm about to scrape into the bowl, bo 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 into the, you know, my prep station thing. And. All right, is garlic. All right, we got lemon, we got butter, we got a fettuccine, we got a pan with olive oil in it that is getting hot already. We're gonna put the fettuccine in time. 131, sounds good for me. We're gonna put a little bit of Old Bay on the shrimp and tuna like I was. Then we're gonna come with a little bit of lemon juice. Here, um, yep, yep, it's too late. All right, I got this bit of lemon. Ooh, look, see, I caught seeds. All right, so we're going to squeeze that directly on the tuna. Up, oh, this seed. And on the shrimp. We're going to get that going right now. We want that base flavor in there. We want that there almost before the, the salt, and the old bay and salt. All right, now we got rid of that. Throw that out. Pan's getting hot over here. All right. We're also going to need a little bit of flour in this because we're going to finish it at the end with uh, a certain buildup. We're gonna take a little bit of uh, granulated garlic, not much at all. We're gonna take a little salt, shake a little salt on there. We're gonna come back with a little bit of uh, ba, 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 paprika and we're going right to the pan. We're gonna take some oil and here we go. We're gonna bam, got a hot pan. All right. And my fettuccine is warming up. I got a little Parmesan to finish this off with. And let's get it up and go. You know what I mean? And it's like I wrote to my homeboy today, man, the prodigal son has returned. Just all the way home. Just I just, you know, I gotta be righteous about reality and all. Alright, so here we are. And I'm just gonna start with two. Alright, I gotta put you down. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> the tuna. Whoa, that's hot. All right. <laughs> and the shrimp. All right. And that reason why I'm putting the shrimp in at the same time, and I'm going to put the onions in, okay, is that um, we want our tuna to be medium rare, okay? We're going to add the garlic and the roasted red pepper at the same time. We're going to create a mini roux. We're just got it working right now on one side. Just, I mean, you could, see, this is beautiful. You can see it graying up. All right. Put shrimp down. All right. I'm going to turn it up a little bit more. Just a hair. And I'm going to flip it really soon. All right. Because I want my tuna nice and medium rare. Now, if I had some like a prosciutto or pachetta or uh, maybe a nice thin slice uh, uh, dry salami, Oh man, look at that. I got most of it over. All right. Push those few pieces down. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. All right. Um, and look, we're not going to cook, cook that more, much more than that. Our fettuccine is done. All right. We're going to take our garlic and our um, yeah, roasted red pepper. We're going to slap that in there. We're going to just trickle, 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 shake, shake, shake. Right? <laughs> we got the temperature up. We just put some new product in the pan. I was looking for a spat, it's over here, my man. We got it in this left hand. Don't you see me rolling? Yeah, man. I've been working out so hard today, and we're on the we're on the last. Yeah, okay. So we're throwing the last bit of my energy right now. Alright. So my I got my tuna, medium rare. Okay. I'm gonna turn that shrimp. Turn that shrimp. Alright. Got my tuna medium rare. The garlic is just starting to sweat. Alright. I'm going to come over here, and I'm like going to wonder where my thing is for the flour, and get a spoon, and go very lightly. That was almost too much. Nikki fixed that. 
Oh, no. <clears throat> all right. It's done. All right. All right, so um, I might need... Uh, that's a lot of flour. All right, so we're going to put lemon juice and butter in now. All right. Oh, dude, that wasn't cool at all. Sorry, missed a step. Need a tool. All right. So we're going to back it off the heat. And this is what we do in the restaurant. Stupid. Look what you did. Get the seeds out. Quickly. Look very carefully. They run all over the place. All right. But quickly. All right, chef. All right, chef. Back on the pan. All right. <laughs> Squeeze the rest of my lemon juice in there. All right. And then I'm going to turn my pan off. All right. Because I'm going to take this whole thing of butter. No, not the whole thing, but most of it. That much. Bow. That was a lot. A little less. Ah. Ah. Ooh, cool. Got the little less that I wanted. And then we're going to take this and we're just going to move it and move it and shake it for a second. All right. And I'm going to add some more lemon juice to this. And uh, it's kind of thick. We're going to add a hair of water. All right. Because I put in more flour than I wanted. I told you that already. We're going to move down here. You guys are going to sit on this old bay. No, that's the one I need. Here, in this. Sorry. I got the spices all in the way. And here we come. And what did I want to do to this? Nothing else, right? Let's taste it. All right. It needs salt. Okay. And then other than that, maybe a little paprika but we can do that our, our old bay but we can do that on finish all right and there is our dish right there is that beautiful looking or what um i had the prep all done prep took me maybe 10 minutes now everybody worries about time most of my food can be done from the time that you start to starch but i was doing other things so i started to starch early and just held it all right chef john get a gourmet once you eat better once you have beautiful food like this, let's put that Old Bay on the top. And then a little paprika, because Old Bay is kind of powerful. And um, that's beautiful. And finish it. A little Parmesan. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Chef John, get a gourmet. Once you eat better in your home. Peace, y'all.